welcome back to my channel, Messes with Michelle, cleaning one mess up at a time. If you're returning, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Michelle and I'm the one behind the messes. So today's video is actually a how to use a Bissell Crosswave Cordless Max. Now for anyone who's watched my videos in the past, they know that I love this machine and I have been using it in a few of my videos. But this video is going to be a how to get down to the nitty gritty to show you exactly how it works because if you're thinking of getting one or you already have one and just want to be more familiar with it, hopefully I can answer those questions for you. So let's jump in and get down and show you exactly how this thing works. The Crosswave Coreless Max not only mops your floors, but it vacuums at the same time, which means as you're mopping your floors, you're sucking up debris at the same time. Another great feature about this machine is you can use it on your area rugs, in addition to using it on hard surfaces such as hardwood floors, tiles, linoleum, as well as laminate. I purchased my Crosswave Coreless Max directly from Bissell's website. I'll link down below in the description box the website to Bissell. With the purchase of your Bristol Crosswave Coreless Max, you'll receive two multi-surface rollers that you see here with the blue bristles, one filter, four bottles of their eight ounce trial solutions. I received two for my hard floors as well as two for multi-surface areas, also a three-in-one docking station. I purchased the bonus package and received one additional filter, one bottle of the hard floor solution, one bottle of the pet odor eliminating solution, and two bonus rollers, one being for your area rugs and carpeted areas. I'm removing the plastic cover from the roller compartment and I'm placing in the multi-surface roller. This is very simple to do. All you have to do is align each side of the roller and then simply put back on the plastic cover. Now when you have to charge the machine, all you simply have to do is just put it back on the base and this will allow the machine to charge. The Bissell Crosswave Coreless Max runs on a 36 volt lithium ion battery that gives you up to 30 minutes of cleaning time. At the front of the machine, there is an indicator to show how much charge is left in your machine. Mine is fully charged at the moment. Now there's two reservoirs for your water. This one being in the front is for your dirty water and it also comes with a filter inside the system. The fresh water tank is located at the back of the machine and it pops out very easily. I've removed the clean water tank to give you a closer look. This couldn't be any simpler because all you have to do is fill up your tank with warm water and there is two lines that shows the water level as well as the formula level. Now there are two different area sizes. I've chosen the smaller size area, but you also can choose a larger size area. Now you can see that there are two lines as mentioned before. I filled it up to the water line and then I filled up my machine with the Bissell multi-surface solution that's good for the hardwood floors as well as tiles. So make sure to use all of Bissell's products when using the machines to get your full cleaning power. I placed the fresh water back into the machine and now we're ready to go. Right now I've tilted back the handle and I'm pressing on the power button. Now just underneath where the handle is, where your hand sits, there's a trigger underneath. Now you're going to press this trigger and hold it there for a good 10 seconds. What you're doing is you're going to be priming the machine, which means you're going to be allowing the water as well as the solution flow through the system before you start moving it. So as you start moving the machine, make sure you hold down the trigger and this way you're going to be dispensing water as well as the solution. Now one of the great features about the Crosswave is that it actually hugs your baseboards very tight and this is part of their redesign. And you know that it's really nice and tight to the corners to make sure you get those edges. I'm using this machine today on my kitchen tile, so I've selected the hard surfaces area. As you can see on the front of this display screen, there is a small indicated light that looks like a small hardwood floor. Now this means that I've selected the hard surfaces area. Now if you're using it on your carpeted areas as well as area rugs, all you simply have to do is press the settings button on the handle of the machine above the power button, and this will switch back and forth between hard surfaces as well as carpeted area. Now keep in mind when you are selecting your mode, you make sure to select the proper one for the type of surface. 
For stuck on messes that are a little bit more stubborn, Bissell recommends that on hard surfaces to switch to the area rug mode so this way you can apply more solution to get those tough messes removed. I am doing passes over my tiles and as I'm going over the tiled area I'm pressing the trigger and this is releasing the solution as well as the water. You can see on the floor there's a nice glisten of water on the floors but it's not oversaturated. What I like to do is I like to just go over the floor once by pushing the trigger then I'll release the trigger and pull back. Now doing so this stops the water and the solution from being dispensed and you're going to be sucking up any excess water which allows for a faster drying time. As you can see earlier, my machine has done its job and now my cleaning is complete. Now before I reveal the dirty water and show you exactly what was on my floors, I'm going to go through and show you how to do the self-cleaning cycle on the machine. This is the cleaning cycle button. All you have to do is press it once and let the machine do its job. Once you press that button, it will activate the roller to begin spinning. It spins at a very high rate and this allows all the debris that's been inside the roller to be released. The red light indicates that your dirty water tank is full. With the cleaning cycle complete, all I have to do is gently wipe the base off of any water. Then I also remove the roller and set it aside to air dry. I remove the clean water tank and discard any leftover water that may be still in the container. Then I gently place it back on the base to begin the charging process. I think that this is so satisfying, this part. Comment below if you feel the same to see exactly what came off my floors. Now, my floors don't look too bad when you first look at them, but when you open up this dirty water tank, you can definitely tell it does say a different story because that water is dark and it's murky and there's a lot of debris floating around. Now, the great thing about this machine is it has a pet strainer, so all of Duke and Buster's hair gets caught in the strainer and I can just pick it up and then throw it into the garbage. Now you can see here today's results are very satisfying because there's definitely a lot of hair collected inside. So here's the end result and the final dump of all that dirty water. You can tell that that water is disgusting so it's nice to know that my floors are nice and clean. Now all the components from the machine are able to be washed in warm water. So all I'm doing is rinsing off all the components and just going to place them off to the side to air dry overnight or until fully dry. I'm downloading the Bissell app. The Crosswave Cordless Max 
offers a Wi-Fi connectivity and you can monitor your filter usage as well as your solutions as well as your battery life. So all you have to do is download the app and it took less than five minutes. Once you're inside the app, you're just gonna have to follow the prompts to connect it to your home Wi-Fi, which is very simple to do. When the app is downloaded, all you have to do is remove the clean water tank and scan the barcode at the back or add in the serial information. Then you're gonna press and hold the settings button until the blue Wi-Fi light flashes. Once it flashes, connect it to your home Wi-Fi and your home screen will appear. I really hope you took some useful information of how to use Abyssal Crosswave Cordless Max. Make sure to comment below and let me know if you're an owner of a Crosswave Cordless Max and if you love the machine just as much as I do. So don't forget before you head out to hit the like button and also turn on your notification bell so you know the next time I upload a video. So until then, I'll see you in my next video.